Z. A Margosaurus was a giant sauropod with two rows of spines down its back. The spines may have been attached to one another by skin, creating the appearance of a huge sail on its back. Scientists believe the spines on an Amargosaurus could have helped defend against predators, communicate with other Amargosaurus, or control body temperature. Amargosaurus was a sauropod. Sauropods were four-legged herbivores known for their small heads, big long bodies, and large appetites. While a Margosaurus looked like other sauropods with its long neck and small head, it was very unique. It had two rows of tall spines down its neck and back. Brachiosaurus had longer front limbs than hind limbs. Many paleontologists think that it held its neck straight up like a modern giraffe to reach leaves high in the trees. Brachiosaurus had a rounded crest made of thin bone attached to its snout. Scientists believe the crest was likely used to show off. Brachiosaurus had longer front limbs than hind limbs. Many paleontologists think that it held its neck straight up like a modern giraffe to reach leaves high in the trees. Brachiosaurus fossils were found in both North America and Africa. This enormous sauropod was very slow moving, slower than any carnivore of its time. Cryolophosaurus was discovered on the southern continent of Antarctica. Today, Antarctica is extremely cold and icy, but during the age of the dinosaur, Antarctica was much warmer with lush green forest. Cryolophosaurus had an odd bony crest on its head that looked like a funny hairdo. Scientists nicknamed this dinosaur Elvisaurus because his furrowed crest resembled the hairdo of Elvis Presley. Cryolophosaurus was discovered on the southern continent of Antarctica. Today, Antarctica is extremely cold and icy, but during the age of the dinosaur, Antarctica was much warmer with lush green forest. Cryolophosaurus was a large meat-eating dinosaur that lived during the Jurassic time period. During the Jurassic, Antarctica was closer to the equator and was part of a large continent called Pangaea. Cryolophosaurus was a relatively large dinosaur that grew up to 25 feet long. It probably walked on its hind legs, had small forearms, and might have resembled Allosaurus. Despletosaurus lived in North America during the late Cretaceous period. It is closely related to its much larger cousin, Tyrannosaurus. Despletosaurus means frightful lizard. This huge carnivore grew to a length of 26 to 30 feet. With its massive skull and rows of sharp teeth, this would have been a dinosaur to be frightened of. Despletos Despletosaurus was a meat-eating tyrannosaur. Like T. rex, it too was the top predator of its time, though it lived long before Tyrannosaurus rex. Recent research shows that Despletosaurus and other Tyrannosaurs grew quite slowly when small, then went through a major growth spurt in their teen years. Eoraptor lived during the Triassic period and is one of the oldest known dinosaurs. It belongs to a group of dinosaurs called theropods, which also includes the Tyrannosaurus. 
Fossils of Eoraptor have been found in Argentina, making scientists believe that this dinosaur lived over 225 million years ago in the Triassic time period. Eo Eoraptor were about three feet tall and weighed about 20 pounds. Standing on their two hind legs and three-toed feet, they were very fast runners, which helped them catch prey. Eoraptor's hands had five digit-like fingers. The three middle digits were the longest and had large claws that were helpful in handling prey. Fabrosaurus was a plant-eating dinosaur that lived in Africa during the Jurassic time period. Fabrosaurus was a small animal, only about three feet long, that moved around on its hind legs. Fabrus, like many other dinosaur herbivores, Fabrosaurus had a beak up front for grabbing plants and teeth behind for slicing them up. Fabrosaurus was a plant eater or herbivore. Gallimimus was a theropod dinosaur that lived in Asia during the Cretaceous time period. Gallimimus belongs to a group of theropods called ornithomimids, which look a lot like ostriches living today. Paleontologists aren't... Paleontologists Gallimimus was a theropod dinosaur that lived in Asia during the Crit... Paleontologists aren't sure what Gallimimus ate. Some think they were herbivores feeding only on plants. Others think they were omnivores, eating small animals and plants. Just like ostriches, Gallimimus were fast runners. Hadrosaurus was a duck-billed hadrosaur that lived in North America during the Cretaceous time period. Growing to about 30 feet long, Hadrosaurus was a giant. It may have walked on four legs when moving slowly and two legs when going faster. Hadrosaurus, Hadrosaurus was a plant eater or an herbivore. The name Hadrosaurus means sturdy lizard. It was the first dinosaur to have its skeleton mounted in a museum. One of the first dinosaurs discovered, Iguanodon was a large dinosaur that lived in Europe during the early part of the Cretaceous time period. Iguanodon had a beak for cropping plants walked slowly on four legs or quickly on two legs, and its hands could be used for walking, grasping, and perhaps even piercing. One of the first iguanodon was a large plant-eating dinosaur. Iguanodon hands were like tools. The middle three fingers used for support. The long and slender pinky, probably for grasping items. The thumb was like a spike for fighting or gathering food. Jaxartosaurus is closely related to other crested hadrosaurs, like Corythosaurus and Parasaurolophus. Jaxartosaurus was a duck-billed hadrosaur that lived in Asia during the Cretaceous time period. Jaxartos, like other hadrosaurs, Jaxartosaurus ate plants. Jaxartosaurus had a big helmet-like crest that was probably used for showing off, making noise, and recognizing members of its own kind. Kentrosaurus was a relatively small armored stegosaur dinosaur from the late Jurassic time period. Kentrosaurus differs from Stegosaurus in having more spikes and fewer plates. These spikes started about midway down the back and extended the length of the tail. They also had shoulder spikes. 
Kentris Kentrosaurus was a slow-moving plant eater that was found in Africa. Kentrosaurus had a tiny brain, one of the smallest known for a dinosaur. The plates of Kentrosaurus were too small to be used for controlling body temperature. They were most likely used for display. The tail spikes could have been used as weapons against predators. Lizotosaurus was a small three-foot-long dinosaur from the early Jurassic time period. It was named after the country Lizotto in South Africa, where the first fossil remains were found. Lizotosaurus had short front limbs that had four grasping fingers and a smaller stub for a fifth finger. Its long hind legs were well suited for fast and agile running. Like many, like many other planty, Lizotosaurus had small serrated and pointed front teeth along the jaw that looked like arrowheads and were well suited for chewing plants. Its head was small with large eye sockets. Like many other plant-eating dinosaurs, Lizotosaurus had a beak in the front of its mouth and back teeth that were used to slice up plants. Myasaura was a duck-billed dinosaur named the Good Mother because some paleontologists think it looked after its babies after they hatched. Scientists have discovered bones of juvenile and adult Myasaura together in the same site. This suggests they traveled in herds to protect their young and nested in colonies. Myas Myasaura was a large plant-eating dinosaur that lived in North America during the late Cretaceous time period. Unlike the large hollow crests of Corythosaurus, Lambiosaurus, and Parasaurolophus, Myasaura had a small solid crest that was not used for hooting. Notosaurus was a plant-eating armored dinosaur or ankylosaur that lived in North America during the Cretaceous time period. Its name means knobbed lizard. Notosaurus grew to be about 20 feet long. Like other ankylosaurs, it was covered in bony armor from the tip of its nose to the end of its tail. Notosaur Notosaurus was a herbivore eating plants that grew close to the ground. Notosaurus moved around slowly on four legs. Unable to run away from predators, it probably used its bony armor for protection. Oryctodromius used its arms and snout to dig burrows for protection and care for their young. Burrowing allowed these dinosaurs to live in areas with extreme weather conditions. Oryctodromius had a number of features that made it well suited for digging, including a snout for shoveling, strong arms for digging, and sturdy hip bones to brace it while digging. Oryctodromius was a fast-running herbivore. Oryctodromius was a bipedal herbivore that lived in the Cretaceous time period. Scientists discovered this dinosaur in a burrow, which was something never before associated with dinosaurs. Lizotosaurus.